In this lesson, we'll examine a small bit of history around Flash Professional and talk about what it can be used for. So what is Adobe Flash Professional? It's a part of the Flash platform. So the Flash platform consists of many different components, and we'll have a look at some of them. These include authoring tools and IDEs, or integrated development environments, various frameworks and libraries, server solutions, and also runtimes. So taking these one step at a time, let's talk about some of the authoring tools and IDEs used in the Flash platform. Primarily, we have Flash Professional. And Flash Professional can be used from anything from animations to mobile development to full application development. We have Flash Builder. Flash Builder is primarily targeted at applications, but can be used for a number of different things as well. And then we have other products such as FDT and Flash Develop. And these are more community projects because they fall outside the Adobe realm of IDEs. Flash Professional and Flash Builder are both Adobe products. One is geared toward sort of a general use, and then Flash Builder is more specifically geared toward Flex and ActionScript development. FDT and Flash Develop are both primarily focused on ActionScript and Flex development. So these last three, Flash Builder, FDT, and Flash Develop, are IDEs that are used for mostly application development, but can be used for a number of different things, even game development. Then we have frameworks and libraries. So primary among these is Apache Flex. It used to be known as Adobe Flex because Adobe was the caretaker of this open source framework. But recently Adobe has given the Flex framework over to the community to do with it what it wishes. It was contributed to the Apache Software Foundation and as such is now a true open source community project. Flex is very useful because it contains a number of layout and structural elements and lots of UI components that are geared toward mobile development and application development on the enterprise level. We also have things like Open Laszlo. Open Laszlo has the same sort of focus as Flex, but it takes a bit of a different approach and it's been in the hands of the community for quite some time now. It's also an application development framework and it's sort of similar to Flex in a way. Then we have a number of game development frameworks. These include things like Flixel, Pushbutton, and Flashpunk. We also have 3D frameworks that take advantage of the Stage 3D APIs available in Flash Player 11 and Air 3. These include things like Starling, Away 3D, Flare 3D, and actually many, many others. Next, we have server solutions. These include video and audio streaming solutions like Flash Media Server, Wowza, and Red 5. Blaze DS is an AMF solution, so it's a server solution that can be installed and used with Java, so if you're doing Java programming. And it's used to transmit data over AMF, which is action message format, to and from Flash content to Java. So it's a communication gateway almost. This is very similar to what's used in Cold Fusion. Uh, it's commonly called Flash Remoting. This is also AMF, and it makes for the translation of objects, transmission of binary data, and things like that really easy between Flash and these other server-side application languages. And we also have Lifecycle. Lifecycle is an entirely different project or product with Adobe, and it is heavily reliant on on Flash and so forth. So then, very important to the Flash platform are runtimes. Among these runtimes are, perhaps the best well known, is the Flash Player. The Flash Player can be used across desktop devices and TV. It's all over the place. And primarily it takes the form of a browser-based plugin. So it's sort of like, you know, something you install that runs within a browser environment. Although Flash Player can be used standalone in some cases and wrapped in a variety of different technologies. We have AIR, and AIR stands for Adobe Integrated Runtime. 
and this can also be used across desktop, devices, and TV. Air is used to create cross-platform applications using Adobe Flash Runtime tools. So these are distributed via a .air file, and a .air file can be installed on Windows, Mac, and sometimes Linux with no problems whatsoever. If you want to, though, you can actually target things even more. You can target Air applications to run on Windows alone, Mac alone, or specific mobile devices. So these are packaged in things like an EXE for Windows, a DMG for Mac, an APK for Android, and they can also be packaged for even Apple's iOS and run on an iPhone or iPad. And then we have Flash Lite. Flash Lite is used on sort of some of the older feature phones, and it's a very different model from, from Flash Player or Air. You probably won't see this all that much, especially if you're just getting into uh, Flash technology. So we'll close out this lesson talking more specifically about Flash Professional itself. It's the oldest and most versatile authoring tool when creating Flash content. So it has a long, long history. It's over 10 years old. So over the years, it has taken on all aspects of the Flash platform itself. So as ActionScript has changed, it has incorporated those changes. As we've been able to target different devices, it has taken those changes onto itself, so forth and so on. Every time Flash Professional sees a new release, we get new capabilities, yet we still retain these older capabilities from its long history. As such, it's able to target all sorts of different things such as animation, uh, gaming, application development, video production, so forth and so on. So it has a rich history in motion. Not only is Flash Professional used when it comes to animation for the web, but it's also used quite a bit for things like feature cartoons on network television. Flash Professional has a long history of interactivity as well. And this can be seen in product demos. It can be seen in UI dashboards for different products. You can create your own UI components using Flash Professional and wire these up using ActionScript and distribute that to any device that supports any of the Flash runtimes. Very important right now for the Flash platform is this focus on gaming. And with Stage 3D and the Molehill APIs, we see gaming as being something that's going to be a huge boon for Flash development in the coming years. Lastly, application development. So you can just write straight action script using Flash Professional if you want to. There are actually a number of different frameworks that are geared toward application development that can be used. And these things can be targeted to a number of different platforms. So Flash Professional is definitely the most versatile authoring tool that you'll come across when using the Adobe Flash platform. So in this lesson, we've seen you know, a little bit of history. We've talked about some of the features of Flash Professional and the wider Flash platform.